you're watching My News 26. I'm Paula Jasper. Today we're at the Osceola County Fairground and joining me is Kathy Raymond. Thanks for joining me, Kathy. Thank you for having me. Now I want you to tell the name of the event because I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> it's a little complicated. Can you tell us exactly um, what is this event, who puts it on, and what is your position here? Okay, it, the, you are at the Fun Fest, which is a hammer dulcimer festival, and we are at the Osceola Fairgrounds. It is hosted by the original Dulcimer Players Club, and I am the president of that club, and have been for three years, and before that I had been vice president for four years. Okay, now the whole meaning behind this event is the dulcimer. The hammer dulcimer is what our mission statement is to preserve and promote the hammer dulcimer, which was started by our founding fathers of this organization 52 years ago. But it is, the festival has been here for 43 years, and we are to, here to preserve and to promote the hammer dulcimer so that it stays uh, alive and that uh, the next generations enjoy it as well as we do. Tell us about the dulcimer. The, dulcimer, the hammer dulcimer is a trapezoid-shaped instrument, string instrument, considered an acoustic instrument, and it, is the, it was the precursor to the piano. So you play it with a hammer, which is why it's called hammer dulcimer, versus a mountain dulcimer or lap dulcimer that sits in your lap, and then you pluck with a pick and then your fingers. And it has been around for a long time, but our founding fathers, and in many different countries, our founding fathers wanted to make sure that it stayed, and we passed it on from generation to generation, and that's what our purpose is. Now, people come from all over the world to this event. Yes, yes. We have a, a member that created this board for us this year. This just happens to be this year's attendees, and we have some from Europe. Um, we have a previous year that was done in 2003. That's over on the other wall. So it's amazing. I mean, it's so fun to see where they're coming from and makes us proud, too. Now, how many people does this event attract? We have had, I think, a high as 8,000 people. I mean, I don't know exactly, but the diehard people that are here to learn and go to workshops, they're here and they're working. Now, give us some of the ideas of the events that are around here, some of your activities. Okay. Well, currently, in the middle of the day from 9 to 5, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of this weekend, we have workshops. That is where people can look at our schedule, see what they're interested, what they want to learn. You go to the classes and then you just take that knowledge home and you work at it. In addition to that, we have jamming areas and we have people that will sit just one-on-one, -on -one working together, working on a tune, teaching a technique to each other. Not all just hammer dulcimer, but a lot of hammer dulcimer, but then all the other instruments. And the, um, it, that's the camaraderie. Everybody that comes here has the interest in music, so you all have a common bond, and whatever your home life is, you're all on the same level here because everybody's here to learn and have fun. In the evenings, we have the stage shows. Um, we have our performers um, that come from all over the world to teach classes and to perform on our, great, our stage in the evenings. We have stage shows Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night and we think they're good. And it's always held the same time per year. Yes, it is. It's always the third weekend in July, and you can count on it and set your clock by it. As long as the club continues and the fairgrounds wants us, we'll be here. Definitely successful. Thanks for joining me, Kathy. Thank you very much for covering us. I, we're grateful. Thank you. Paula Jasper, Minus 26, Dulcimer Festival in Everett.